Motion. Backlund from right to left. Sanchez comes right back, swings it out to Backlund, and Backlund in for the touchdown! Blocked by Riley Cooper, and Jeremy Backlund scores! Joining us here on Eagles Game Plan, as he does every week, Eagles head coach, Chip Kelly. Coach, tough one this past week against the uh, defending Super Bowl champion, mm -hmm. but as always, there's, you can pull good things out of, out of every game. And here, let's take a look at your first touchdown here, a little... New wrinkle, at least I hadn't seen this play before here in the we've done it. We've done a couple times in the, in the two years that we've been here, but really what we're trying to do is, is we have a run play called and we're going to just try to initiate, number one, what are they doing coverage-wise and how are they going to defend us? And so as we bring Jeremy in motion, an orbit motion for us, as he comes behind the formation, he starts as number one on this side. But then he crosses over a tight end, he crosses over a back, and he crosses over another tight end. So he actually ends up number two on the other side of the formation. So when we bring the motion, all Mark is reading is, does anybody adjust with him? If not, we have a run play called. So we're just trying to get a guy out of the box. And if he's out of the box, basically we block him with this motion. If no one adjusts with him, though, the quarterback needs to recognize that. And then he has the ability, instead of giving the ball to LaShawn up the middle, to throw the ball out here. And Mark makes a great decision on the run. It takes a lot of timing for this play. We have an unblocked player out there. There's help coming from the inside defensively, but it's late. But I think one of the underrated things, and, and he's one of the best in the league at it, is you just watch the job that Riley Cooper does. He's done a great job all year long for us in terms of your, your wide receiver screens are not going to be successful if your wide receivers can't block. And Coop does a great job on the DB. The only guy that could make a play is this guy. Once we've outflanked this part of the defense, it becomes a one-on-one -on -one between Coop and him. And a lot of times people can't do this in the National Football League because this guy can't block that DB. And when you're especially talking about the DBs for the Seattle Seahawks, big, tough, physical guys. Maxwell's a very good corner. Obviously, Richard Sherman, we think, is an outstanding corner. You got Earl Thomas running from the inside. Mac does a good job of what we call his catch and stretch because there's going to be someone chasing from the inside. But don't slow down. Keep your feet moving. And it just turns into an outside run play for him. He comes right inside and was a real big block by Coop right there that gave us an opportunity to punch the ball in here for our first touchdown. The defense played outstanding yeah, they did. as well. And Fletcher Cox, we've been talking about mm -hmm. Pro Bowl. I know you don't speak about a lot of individual accolades and things of that nature, but, I mean, his play has been standing out big time this year. He does. And the other thing about Fletch is not only is he playing well or played well the other day, he's played consistently well as the season has gone along. In every game, you can pick out highlight plays of Fletch no matter if it was game yeah. one or if it was game 13. And this is just, you know, you talk about, number one, two-gap and alignment. And just look where the line of scrimmage was here and look where Fletcher is compared to these guys who got up on the linebackers. But everybody's doing a good job of just reestablishing a line of scrimmage here. And we've got some great runs. These guys are the people that had no one on them. They're working to get up to the second level of linebacker but Fletch is controlling the zone play and the one thing about Fletch different than some other people there are some guys that can knock people back but then they can't get off and right. make a play so not only do we talk about block destruction which he does right here but now come off and make a play and that's what Fletch does right here against a very very good running back and Marshawn still stays on his feet the ball bounces a little bit Benny Logan does a great job of coming from behind and helping but really the job of Fletch does especially with his get off off the ball he's going to end up two gap in the guard he separates and now locates the football and that's what the one thing about two gap is if the ball were to come in he's going to shed the guy that way and fall back inside if the ball now bounces he needs to shed his guy to the inside and fit on it on the outside and then the other thing that I love about this thing is how many guys are running to the football great job yeah. by Nate great job by Trent here comes Benny there's Nate Benny came flying over the top here's Casey Matthews here's Malcolm Jenkins here comes Connor here comes said if the ball bounced one more you got Trent Cole fit outside Michael Kendricks got off a double team and then we got look how many different hats we got going to the football right there and that's that's just really good team defense starting with Fletch up front here again your defense I thought played well here you're going to get great coverage here on the back end but also Michael Kendricks who's another young guy mm -hmm. who's starting to stand out on film he did a nice, nice job pressuring Russell Wilson all day. He did. The receivers are in a bunch set right here, and we have three defenders, and they're responsible for them. On the back side, we've got a coverage going on here. We've got one high safety so that the defenders underneath know where their help is. Now, the one thing we have to do, and we're going to match up on the back here, is that we've got to generate a pass rush on a really good quarterback, maybe the most elusive quarterback playing right now in the league. And now Mike really has the quarterback. And when we have a stunt going on here on both sides, when Russell gets flushed, 
he's there to pick it up. So as we start, we've got great coverage. We're plastered in our coverage. Everybody's kind of as tight and as close as they can. So when you get this matched up, we've got a good matchup here, a good matchup here. Everybody's located their offensive guys. Safety's with help over the top. We're collapsing the pocket around Russell, and now we've created a lane that if Russell decides to step up or move, we've got someone of equal athletic ability. We feel a Michael that can make a play. And you just watch how quick he closes, how much ground he covers, and the suddenness in terms of his burst right here when he goes. And that picture closes right away for Russell and got a big play for us on a big third down, a big stop for us. Another great phase of the game for you that typically shows up every week, your special teams unit. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy right there, mm -hmm. that looks like a guy that's happy to be playing against his former team and Chris Marigold. Yeah, Chris. He's uh, down the field pretty good there. Chris has, has done an outstanding job for us from a special team standpoint. When we talk about our kickoff coverage, we want speed at what we call the five on this side because he's got to really set the tone for us and shoot his gun and then we'll just concentrate on him. So obviously, it's a sprint through there. He beats the first level defender, he comes around it, and now he's doing exactly what we want him to do. A lot of guys in this position, within 10 yards of the ball carrier, start to motor down and then slow themselves down. What we want our guy to do is close the gap and fire your gun and make this guy go yeah. wide. And what he does when he makes him go wide, he pops right out to Chris Brzezinski, a late pickup for us, who was a player for the Jacksonville Jaguars, who's now at our three position. And he does a great job when we wish now watch Chris Brzezinski go down the field. As Chris goes down the field, he's just a step behind Maragos, but watch him beat the trap block coming from his right. And now he does a great job when they're ready for him at the second level of stick and avoid and then knife back around and ends up right where the ball was flushed from Chris Maragos. He's sticking a voids right there. He comes around it. There's a textbook tackle. And you just watch how smart this team is. You can see Malcolm Jenkins right here and watch as this kick goes. When I say stop and you can see him, if you watch Malcolm right now, stop. He's already signaling. He knows the return. Yep. So our guys all know through film study, through the job our coaches have done, that this ball, it hasn't been caught yet but they're going to try to bring it out, and it's going to be a right return. And our guys, through film study, through their work, have done a great job. Malcolm's already working over. Everybody knows it's going to be a right return. Chris is going to flush him to the right. Prasinski makes a great play. And look how many guys, again, we have around the ball, and that's just great effort by our guys.